Um, my son has severe hemophilia A, um, diagnosed at birth um, with uh, circumcision. He bled for 36 hours um, before we knew what was going on. Um, you know, and it, it was a hard time just learning everything about what we could, um, aside from learning your disease and what, uh, you know, how to keep him alive and uh, all of that. So we um, quickly found out that he needed to have this uh, life-saving medication so he prevent the bleeds from happening, especially the internal bleeding into your organs and joints and all the damage that can come with that. Uh, we soon realized it was very expensive uh, medication, uh, had to go in a vein, which meant um, hospitals, emergency rooms, uh, hemophilia treatment centers, nursing services. Uh, we all had to be trained you know, in infusing him as well as him learning himself. Um, it was a short amount of time before we figured out, oh, we, I need to know what deductible is and out-of-pocket maximums and co-insurance because his medication, you just don't go to CVS and get it. You have to get it from specialty pharmacy or home care company. And it isn't covered under pharmacy benefit. It's covered under your hospitalization benefit, which meant all of those deductibles were immediately uh, triggered. Mm -hmm. First, first uh, you know, First delivery of the month, of the year, boom, you have all of that. Um, at the time, back then, when he was small, we uh, we made too much money to get any kind of assistance. Uh, there was no manufacturer assistance at the time, so um, you know we we had to cover that, and make it happen on top of the premium monthly premium we were paying. Um, so it it was a struggle, um, you know, back then, and we. Um, now um, we have ma uh, manufacturer assistance programs, which are grateful. You know, I'm grateful for those, and they help everybody now. But my concern is, you know, out of pocket um, with the out of pocket max every year. The average person doesn't get hospitalized or have a surgery, and every year we were uh, getting that. Um, so, you know, that's that's helpful with the manufacturers. I would hate to see those go away, um, especially some other friends in the community that utilize those. Um, we, um, I worry about this lifetime cap coming back because his medication's over $60,000 a month, what the insurance a pays month. a month. month. Yeah, and this is a life, a lifetime. This isn't something he gets to just take for a short time. He will have hemophilia for his whole life. And um, I worry about him getting a job and them giving them benefits that those are the things that that I worry about. Oh, how old Thanks. is he? Fifteen now. All right. So He's doing well, man. Yeah, right. but those times are coming. You know, yeah. college and Absolutely. work, and you know, he's been under our wing for you know for now. But teaching him to navigate insurance and all of those, because you know everything changes every year. It's mm -hmm. you know, oh, it's just a copay when you go to the doctor. Now it's copay, facility fees. Um, you know, physical therapist isn't, isn't covered, so you have to pay towards your deductible and out of pocket for that. And, you know, that's, those all add up in, in time, so.